What is up guys, Corey Smith here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the standard transitions that are built into LumaFusion. Then I'll go over what their limitations are, and finally, how you can go beyond those limitations using our transitions bundle and create videos like this. So first, I just wanna show you what a standard LumaFusion transition is. Basically, it's just an easy and simple way of transitioning from one clip to another clip. In order to add a standard transition, you just need to make sure that you have two clips on the timeline, then center your playhead between those clips. Then you can press the plus icon to add new media and select transition. Now, if I just drag on this to increase the size of the transition and I play it back, you can see that there's a nice cross dissolve between these two clips. Now, if you select a LumaFusion transition and you go into this presets menu, you can actually see that there are some other transitions available, but trust me, you really don't wanna to have to use these because none of them are very useful and they don't look good. Unfortunately, these type of transitions are specifically native to LumaFusion, and what that means is you can't add additional transitions from other sources. The good news is we've actually come up with a few different ways of getting around this. The main way is by utilizing LumaFusion animation keyframes. Basically, we create each animation from scratch and then save it as a LumaFusion effects preset file or directly into clips on a downloadable project file so that you can easily see examples of what each preset looks like. To show you an example of this, here I have a project and you can also see that I have some text. What I wanna do is add an animation to this text so that it expands and then keeps expanding to go out of the screen. Now, in order to apply animations, you need to make sure that your clips are set to the same length as the animation that you're trying to apply. So for example, this is a one second clip because the animation that I want to apply to this clip is going to be one second long. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna navigate to the cinematic titles pack, which is part of the transitions bundle. And so this is an actual project you'd be downloading as part of the pack in order to view and also pull from all of the different animations for the text. For the current text that I have, if you remember what I said before, it was one second long. And like I said, that's because all of these animations are also one second long. So here, since I'm gonna be using this slide backward text, all you need to do is just select it, then go over to copy, then you can go back to the project where you want to paste the text. Then here where I have the text that I want to apply the animation to, just make sure that you select this, then go into the copy paste menu, make sure that all of the attributes are selected and then press paste. So now when I play this back, you'll see the sliding backwards animation here. Now, if I also wanted to add an ending animation to this text, then I would do the same thing for the ending. Or what you can also do instead is for our titles pack, when you apply an animation, it will actually have the ending animation applied as well further in on this clip. So if I drag this out to two seconds, now you can see that there's a beginning animation and an ending animation. So hopefully now you see how you can take something simple like text or a graphic and really bring it to life with these transitions and text animations. Now our transitions bundle comes with many different packs, but the great thing is that each pack is self-contained, so you can download and learn how to use just the tools that you're interested in without having to worry about everything else. When you use our presets combined with the techniques that we teach in our courses, you can get unique and professional results without having to spend months learning how to create extremely advanced transitions and effects from scratch. And just like with any of our other packs, if you're ever stuck, you can always send us a message on the site and either me or someone else on the team will get back to you in real time. So I hope this video has helped you to understand what exactly a standard LumaFusion transition is and also what we offer to help you expand what's possible inside of LumaFusion.